It is no secret that organizations in the crypto industry have often clashed with authorities, with Ripple's current lawsuit v's, the SEC being probably the most noteworthy example. However, the SEC is now suing even larger people in the crypto business. Binance and Coinbase, two crypto juggernauts, have become the latest to dispute with us authorities. The pro XR employer, John E. Deaton, just tweeted a Twitter message inviting his 272.4k followers to the long-awaited hearings and decisions before the U.S. federal court. In reaction to a previous tweet by Paul Gruwal, chief legal officer of cryptocurrency exchange Coinbase, Exchange Coinbase, Deaton said that this Wednesday will be a big day for cryptocurrency. Gruwal listed the great activities that are scheduled to take place tomorrow in his tweet. The hearing on the SEC's move to freeze Binance's assets, the publication of the Hyman Papers, and the SEC's answer to Coinbase's petition were among the events. The Securities and Exchange Commission had already filed a request to freeze the assets of the ailing crypto exchange Binance, a move that would impact hundreds of accounts associated with the exchange. The lawsuit will be heard in the United States District Court for the District of Columbia on June 13, 2020. 3. Similarly, the contentious Hyman papers, which are considered to be a watershed moment in the Seek Ripple conflict, are set to be revealed on Wednesday. According to Deaton's tweet, the records would have a significant influence on the sex's action against Ripple as well as other exchanges. Coinbase, the main cryptocurrency exchange, filed a petition with the SEC, requesting regulatory clarification. When the SEC failed to reply to the petition within seven days, the United States Court of Appeals for the Third Circuit ordered the SEC to answer within seven days, which is due on June 13. Gruel reacted on tomorrow's events, saying, Not every federal court day is eventful in crypto, but tomorrow is. Adding, May God bless the U.S. courts. In response to Grewal's remark, Dean said that former U.S. President Donald Trump's arraignment will take place tomorrow as well. According to sources, Trump has landed in Florida for his first court appearance on June 13, after his arrest on allegations of mishandling national security secrets. He was also accused with refusing to assist the authorities in their attempts to retrieve the papers. This morning, Twitter is on top as an XARP and Ripple devotee reveals Ripple's filing activity. The corporation is specifically filing on court listener. This screenshot was published on Twitter to bring attention to the current sex EU. Ripple Lawsuit the snapshot, as shown in the tweet above, reveals key information regarding Ripple's submission. In particular, with the revelation of the Heinemann documents, the SEC EVs, Ripple lawsuit is expected to have a huge confrontation tomorrow. Twitter has received a fresh filing for the Securities and Exchange Commission v. Ripple Labs NT case. Big Case's bot, in particular, publicized the filing of Doc Heat 127, Declaration in Support of Motion. Cyril then shares special trading ideas that can help traders tank their research efficiency. To begin, he believes that Token Terminal is essential for DeFi aficionados. This program collects financial data from blockchains and dApps such as revenue, earnings, and user growth. Cyril claims that by using this, traders may make educated, data-driven judgments. Responses to both tweets demonstrate huge support and unwavering optimism for Ripple and Excerpt to Triumph. According to newly disclosed court filings in the Ripple Vs, sex lawsuit Ripple is said to have paid six exchanges between $1 million and $5 million to list Erkser P. In light of these allegations, Ripple's chief technology officer, David Schwartz, has issued a response to provide some light on the situation. Schwartz elaborated in response to a conversation started by the anonymous self-proclaimed detective scam detective scam detective. Remember that in the newly published court filings, Exhibit 220 was highlighted by the Crypto Basic as evidence that there are reasonable reasons to assume that RSRP does not, does not satisfy the Howey test. If this came from the sex itself, some supporters have said it would be game over for the agency. However, Mark Fagel, a former attorney for the SEC, has said unequivocally that the sex did not author the paper. Scam Detective has recently tweeted about this as well but he also claimed that a legal company drafted the agreement on behalf of Grayscale Investment. Scam Detective said that the legal firm's conclusion that XYRP is not a security was supported, in part, by the fact that Ripple does not facilitate XYRP trading on the secondary market. However, recent findings suggested that Ripple spent between $1 million and $5 million to six exchanges in 2017 to list XYRP. 
Scam Detective determined that the Grayscale Exurp Investment Trust dissolved in January 2020. 1. Due to these charges. According to the accusations, Ripple has been after Coinbase for years to offer XRP. In answer, Schwartz provided some clarity on the situation's complexities. The assertions made are, he stressed, only allegations and the truth is far more nuanced. Schwartz provided an example to illustrate the processes that may underlie such claims. He elaborated that Ripple may initially choose not to pay a hefty price requested by an exchange in order to list XRP. The only way Ripple could utilize the exchange for auto purposes and force Exerp's listing on the platform is if it subsequently discovers a chance to develop a worthwhile payment connection with that exchange, in which case it would pay for the integration fee. Instead of only listing Exerp, this payment would help Ripple achieve its greater aim of increasing its on-demand liquidity, ODL, service. Schwartz made it clear that this is just conjecture. He stressed that litigants often make charges in the most negative light imaginable without really contradicting the truth. He warned against taking the charges at face value and emphasized the need for a balanced assessment. You may recall that claims appeared in the past suggesting that Ripple paid exchanges like Coinbase to list Exerp. Notably, this month, scam detective questioned Schwartz how much Ripple paid Coinbase to include Exerp, reviving long-standing suspicions first reported in a Bloomberg piece in 2018. The story of Coinbase listing Exerp is the only story I most wish I could tell that I can't, Schwartz said at the time. According to newly published court papers in the Ripple V's, Seek lawsuit Ripple paid six exchanges between $1 million and $5 million to offer XRP on their systems. Ripple's T2 David Schwartz has reacted to these assertions, attempting to clarify the situation. Schwartz's statement followed a discussion by scam detective and anonymous self-proclaimed detective. Remember that the Crypto Basic highlighted Exhibit 220 in the freshly published court records, suggesting that there are reasonable reasons to assume that XREP fails the Hawaii test. Several supporters determined that if this came from the SEC, it would be game over for the agency. However, Mark Fagel, a former SEC attorney, acknowledged that the letter was not written by the agency. Scam Detective also mentioned this in recent tweets. He did, however, claim that Grayscale Investments paper was written by a legal firm. One of the arguments cited by the legal firm to decide that XRP is not a security, according to Scam Detective, is that Ripple did not arrange for XRP trade in the secondary market. However, fresh evidence suggests that Ripple paid six exchanges between $1 million and $5 million in 2017 to list XRP. According to Scan Detective, the Grayscale Excerpt Investment Trust was dissolved in January 2020. One is a result of these charges. According to the accusations, Ripple has been pursuing Coinbase for years in order to list Excerpt. In response, Schwartz gave insight on the situation's complexities. He highlighted that the assertions made are only allegations and that the true circumstances are complex. Schwartz highlighted the probable mechanisms underlying such charges using a hypothetical scenario. He stated that an exchange may charge a significant cost to list Exerp, which Ripple may opt not to pay at first. However, if Ripple subsequently discovers a significant payment integration possibility with that exchange, the corporation might pay for the integration fees, letting them to utilize the exchange for auto purposes and mandating Exerp's listing on the platform. This payment, however, would be designed to help Ripple's larger objective of developing its on-demand liquidity, ODL, service, rather than just to list Exerp. Schwartz noted that this is merely a speculative scenario. He stressed that litigating parties often make claims in the most negative light possible without contradicting the truth. He warned against considering these charges as facts and emphasized the need of conducting a fair investigation. Previously, suspicion circulated that Ripple paid exchanges like as Coinbase to list Exerp. Notably, Scam Detective this month questioned Schwartz how much Ripple paid Coinbase to sell Exerp, reigniting age-old suspicions that surfaced in a Bloomberg report in 2018. The story of Coinbase listing Exerp is the only one I most wish I could tell that I can't, Schwartz said at the time.